11 11, guys. We made it. What was that? What the was that? Three, two, one. What the fuck is happening? Can you turn that off for us, real quick? What when point? I said touched, it touched the ball. It's about to storm, too. Yeah, it's like. Looks like it's got a deluge. Definitely over there by the beach. Look at it right over the water. So this is directly behind the hotel. I know it's kind of hard to see because it is late, but we are staying right on the beach. And there it is. There is the hotel. All right, let's get some food. Get some food. All right, guys. So we came back to the hotel room and we noticed something very interesting. So we left two flashlights here but I distinctly remember putting them at least three inches apart. Yeah, we're gonna go have to go back on footage and we're check. We're gonna have to go back on footage, but check this out. They're together. As Let soon me as zoom you in. Into the room. They are now together, which we, they weren't. No, I know we they weren't because I remember looking at them. We literally did not touch them. No. The entire time I left them the way they were, and that's how they came. And that's how we came back with them together. That's crazy because, yeah, before we left, we put everything back just neatly so that it wasn't just like laying all over the I mean, hotel room. It could have been, been Mark just practicing using the flashlight. Maybe. He was, maybe he was trying to mess with it. Maybe he was like, okay, let me see if I can. Or try one to of that. the spirits here. Maybe even Michael or one of the other spirits here might have been touching them. Right. That was, that was a pretty heavy evidence. So thank you. All right, guys, now we are going to be doing the Estes method. With this method, this essentially allows you to connect to the spirit box and use the human body as its own spirit tool. So every time she hears a word that goes off of the spirit box with her headphones, she says it immediately. I'm going to be asking a series of questions to see if we can get any logical answers and explanations of what actually happened here. So. Without further ado, let's go. Anything, right? It's so muffled. Can you hear me? Barely. Barely. That's really freaking loud. That's really freaking loud. You can't hear anything. It's literally, you literally cannot hear anything. I will like, be look. asking. Yeah. I know. Guys, if you want to know what kind of stuff that we bought, go and check out our affiliate link. You can get it. I'm going to link it below in the comments. All right, lights out for me. Ready? Yep. I'm ready. Okay. Mark, we are coming forth today. And we want to ask you, and this is just another form of a way to... They're get, here. They're here. We're here. Oh, they're here. Okay. Woo. Thank you. Woo. All right. So it's like a party in here, I guess. So, Mark, what happened here today? Or Spirit. Not today. Cruel. Spirit. Cruel. Imagine. Imagine. The light. Mark, are you, are you wanting to go towards the light? Do you need help? Mark. Monday? T Monday. That's when that's when Mark Zimmerman jumped off the balcony was on a Monday. Mark, we know that you jumped and unalived yourself. Can you show the world that you're here today? Can you please make one of those cat balls go off? Bible. Bible, do you want us to read a passage from the Bible? Will that help you? Mark, if you can hear us. Jesus? Can... Yes, Jesus. You want to hear Jesus? You want to hear Jesus' word? Would that help you? Would that help no. you go on? You don't. I know we asked earlier, we didn't really get a clear answer of what you were diagnosed with. Ooh. Up? You want it up. Jump? Jump. Jump. That's what happened. He jumped off the balcony. He jumped off the balcony on a Monday. This is making so much sense, guys. 
Mark, do you need our help? Turn on those lights if you need our help, Mark. I don't feel good, babe. Babe. I don't feel good. I got really fucking hot. Did you? Yeah, whoa. So oh maybe my it was like an overcharged battery where, you know, you go, I had you going for I about I felt burning minutes. on like my back. Yeah. And then my chest just started to get really like heavy. Yeah. Like I almost couldn't breathe just now. All right, guys, let's take a moment and just sit here, relax. Maybe like this video if you've made it to this point and give us a subscribe and hit the notification bell because we're going to be constantly posting content of our locations that we do investigations at and it's going to be awesome. So Absolutely. you definitely don't want to miss out. Anyways, let's get back to the video. All right, Cage is going to do the Estes method one more time since the recording got stopped. So we are rolling. Are you guys stuck here? Death. You guys died here. Detail. Killed. No one really knows what happened to you specifically, Michael. If you're here, Michael Merkling. Was it an accident? All of a sudden. It was sudden. Well. We mean you no harm. off. Oh. Is this Mark? By choice. Mark, this is you I'm speaking to. Slipped. Mark, you jumped off by choice, and I'm getting that Michael slipped, am I correct? I feel someone touching me in the arm. Are you touching my arm? Friends. No, you can't stay with me, but I am here to help. Daywalker. Mark, are you here with us still? You were making the lights go off earlier. Can you do that again? Tested. You were testing them? Did you move the flashlights on the bed when we left? Who did that, do you know? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, is that you remembering you did that? Pray. Do you want me to pray for you? Okay, I'm gonna say a quick prayer while Cage is doing the Estes method. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you allow these spirits to see the light. Into the good news. I pray that you allow them to move on, to re be released from reliving what they oh. had to go through. Either by choice, by accident, please allow these spirits Jump. to have peace. Dear Lord, I, I pray for these souls that are left here to allow them Who to be at we peace. Want trying are you trying to go to the light i'm praying for you to go to the light jump oh, i'm so sorry can you go to the light do you see the light face plant oh, before we finish this session can you just know that i pray for you to go to the light and to be released of this hell that you're living currently i pray that this helps you and i pray that Dealing this helps with. you to move on I know you're dealing with, with having to go through this, but shadow. Are you, are you the shadow that walks through the halls here? I'm so sorry, Mark. I'm so sorry, Michael, and all the spirits not. that are here. But in what? the name of the Lord, forgiven. please, are you are you forgiven? In the name of the Lord, please, I pray in Jesus Christ. You go to the light. In Jesus Christ, amen. Did you go to the light? Found a way. Is there anything you'd like to say? Evil. No, we don't welcome that here. Any evil, you're not welcome here. You must leave at this time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over. Slip. You keep repeating over and over your fall. Oh, trust people. You trusted your friends?
Bye. So, I said a prayer. I was praying, actually. Because I kept hearing this, like, they kept saying the same things over and over again. It was like, they are reliving what they were going through. Oh. They're stuck. Yeah. They're really stuck. Here. Yeah, I, I remember seeing, distinctly hearing you, like, jump, I think, two or three times. Yeah, I heard it a few times, and then you said it originally, and then I know I said it when I was doing it. And it was definitely a very clear, they're reliving what they went through in life. I felt pressure on the side of my arm. It felt like somebody was going like this. I felt that too, like on my shoulder. Like someone was touching my arm. All right, well, that's a wrap on the Estes method. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for communicating, guys. Okay, so Cage is doing the Estes method now. And I'm going to be asking a few questions. We Please. switched places. Oh, you want to talk to me? Is this Mark? Or Michael? Our. Both? No. Do you want okay. me to leave? Can you hear me? You and I. Yes, we're talking. Do you like us being here? Get out. Okay. Like static. What happened to you here? What happened in this room? I want to say something. Okay, what do you need to say? Too late. Is it too late to say something? What's what's too late? You can say whatever you need to say. Can you make one of the spirit balls go off? Or one of the flashlights? We noticed when we came back the flashlights were off. You can't? Does it take too much energy? Look. You want me to look? Look where? I'm watching. Bedroom. We are in the bedroom. Are you here with us? Here. Okay, thank you for answering. Can you make one of those lights go off or the REM pod? Thank Michael. you. Michael. Michael's here. Michael, are you the 25-year-old who accidentally fell? Dang. During the day? What happened? It seems like no one really knows. Did you get locked out Concrete. on the balcony? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Did you get locked out on the balcony? Were you guys... What? happened. Do you not know what happened? Are you still stuck yeah. here? Okay, you know you passed away here. You accidentally fell to your death, it's told. Florida. In Florida, yes. Michael, what happened to you? Hype. Were you hyped up to do something? Shadow. Are you in the shadows now? Are you in the shadows now? Were your friends involved, Michael? I am. You were. Okay, so it was your fault? Was it a mistake, Michael? Do you still roam the halls here? It's out. What's out? Are you unable to move on? Me. Who is me? Oh no.
go. Around. Cage. Babe. I wasn't recording. Something turned off my recording. No? It's not letting me record. You weren't recording the entire time? I don't think so. It's not letting me... I pressed record. It stopped recording. Whoa. Access, guys. Wow. Oh, no kidding. Whoa, this is <laughs> nuts. Oh, look at that light. It's just fluorescent. Yeah, you know, fluorescents do that, but maybe it's a little spooky. Who knows? Look at this. We've done one so far as an experiment. Yeah. Then this is supposed to be this tiki bar, and then out here in the, on the red bricks, or out the doors. Definitely bringing the creep factor now. That one goes for me. That's for sure. Oh, well, no trip. They say you trip here, so careful. Don't do that down the stairs. I am. Okay, well. And here's the next girl. Be careful with this one. Oh, fuck, it's pitch black. You wanna go in there? <laughs> That's a hard pass. <laughs> this is where it gets creepy, guys. We have free range. We're allowed to be in here. Security gave us permission to basically do whatever we want, so. What? Why'd you stop like that? Reason. Dead. Quiet. Dead quiet. All right, let's film, shall we? Is it recording? Hey. What? Is it going off by itself? Yeah. Please tell me it's not. It's going off by itself. <laughs> we haven't even been down here for we one minute. We haven't been down. Oh, and it just turned off. It was going off by itself. Or maybe, maybe it was just it was calibrating. Maybe it was just calibrating. Could have been. Okay. Go walk near it and see if you can debunk it. Because you got some heavy ass boots on. They're thick. No. Nothing. Shut up. This place is crazy. A picture. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, the cat ball is going off by itself. You see that? Show it, show it. It's going off by itself. It just went off by okay. itself. Who just did that? Are you here to listen about the stories of what happened here? Make that cat ball go off again if you are here. Oh. Okay. Someone's here with us. Thank you so much for answering. Can, oh. Well. We did. Can you make that turn on on the count of three? Three, two, one. <laughs> it's almost like it doesn't want us. It doesn't seen. want to be seen. Do you not want to be seen? It's probably just someone passing by. I mean, you, you don't They're know. They're probably just walking the halls. Yeah. They're probably just like, what are these people doing here? Yeah. You ready? No. Okay. It's like a boiler room. It's like always the room that is in horror movies. Okay. So you guys can see, like, this obviously hasn't been touched in a very long time. Yeah. But this is where the employees say that they feel really creeped out. And I can definitely relate to why they would feel sketchy because this is creepy. It's, it was just the two of us. <laughs> we don't have a team, guys. We don't have camera people. Does anyone people. want to go ghost hunting with us? Anyone want to join our team in Florida because... Because uh, apparently we're chicken shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like somebody's going to come out of this door right here. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You trying to freak me out over here? What are you doing? <laughs> Maybe. I'm not being the caboose. I'm always in the fucking back. You always make me walk in the back. And then I'm creeped out because I gotta be the one that gets tapped or some shit. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. That's why we're doing this shit for, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining. Okay, so let's go back out here because this is where we actually had the cat balls off. I just smelled a strong whiff of coffee. There's nobody here. No humans that are in this life. We're the only two humans that's down in this basement right now. Getting a fucking workout, that's for sure. I probably did like 30,000 steps at least today. Fitness, yeah. It's not only a ghost hunting channel, it's how much weight can we lose at the same time.
This is the infamous bar right here behind us. Where they saw the apparition on the news. This very spot a white mist floating around and then hiding. It walked around this way, came back around through the lobby and vanished. Can check out the 1888 restaurant real quick. And there is a really nice restaurant here, guys. Maybe this was the bar? I don't know, you guys tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Was this the bar that you think you guys saw the end? try one more time in here? Yeah, put the cat balls out. Let's just see if anything touches them in here. So if there are any spirits here from 1888, we'd love to communicate with you. How awesome is it to be in a hotel at three o'clock in the fucking morning at witching hour? It's crazy. In the dark. It's insane. Oh okay. my god, we're actually getting something. And my phone is about to die, but a cat ball is going off all by itself. So is that confirming that this is in fact the bar? This Is this the bar that was on the news? Ooh, and I just felt very warm. Like warm energy, like right, right here. here. Are you guys hanging out in here? Is this where you guys party? Can you please make that cat ball go off one more time? Do you mind us being here? Do you not want us to be in here? Is this your time? Are we bothering you? Do you think it's cool that we're in here right now trying to record this evidence? That was so crazy. It's like I said, I feel like the spirits here are just roaming about doing their very own thing. They're just going about their day and just having a drink. It's like they said, you know, they come by, maybe they just put down the drink, literally got up, and walked out, and that was it. Maybe them putting down the drink was them putting that residual energy and made that ball go off. Because that's yeah, where you would put your drink down. Drink. <laughs> Last right up, so. It's like 3.30 in the morning. 1.11 backwards, check this out. And it's literally our fucking club name. We're gonna have that merch, so you best buy it, please. Alright. Stop looking at yourself in the You're sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mark. Um, may we have permission to come in? This is our last time coming in here, so... Yeah? Yeah, he likes us, I think. I think so. All right. Tis I. Tis I. <laughs> so this is our last session. Mark, if you are with us right now, can you please give us a sign? Can you make the cat ball in my hand go off? Or can you make the rum pod go off? I feel really lightheaded up here. Same. Are we just afraid of heights? I'm afraid of heights, I know that. I don't know, I think they might have actually moved on. I think so. I, I think for them. I think you pray for them and I think there's no more activity here. I mean two of the most active spirits that are known to be around this premise. We were getting a lot of activity and they asked for a prayer. I prayed while you were doing the SC's method. I think that might have I don't know. Alright. Mark, if you're here with us or Michael, can you please make this cat ball in my hand go off? On the count of three, two, one. Nothing. I think they're gone. I think they moved on. Maybe our job here is done. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, spirits. You cannot come home with us. You cannot follow us out of this hotel. You may only move forward. Onto the light. Onto the light. It's been an awesome, awesome investigation here, though. And we want to give a huge shout out to the Daytona Plaza Resort and Spa for having us here, for allowing us to come investigate this beautiful resort. On a scale of 1 to 10, how haunted do you think this was? This hotel specifically, I feel, was about a five. 
Um, I do say that because we had amazing activity up in the room. Room 1111 is absolutely active. I feel like it was more active during the day, surprisingly. But, but it does make sense because that's when it happened was during the day. A Monday afternoon, 15 minutes after check-in. And, it could and that's have been when we had our activity. Residual energy. I wouldn't, wouldn't doubt that would have any influence. There are definitely spirits here in this hotel. And they're around. Maybe they don't want to be known as they're much. They're around, but they're going about their business. But, yeah. Walking by, putting down drinks, and doing the normal thing you would do at a hotel. I would say based off of our room, this is definitely a solid five. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe. And make sure you turn on those notifications so you never, never miss, miss a, a video. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we had fun. That was cool. That was cool.